This is my new book, The Art of John McNaughton. And one of the things I want to show you is that inside of the book, it's just, it's a really, it's a really wonderful book, just loaded with detail and history and, you know, tells my story and a lot of different things that uh, people don't know about me and how I got into doing political artwork. But one of the things that you're going to see in the book is it'll have sketches along with the finished painting so you can kind of see what the inspiration was. These are some of my early landscape paintings. You know, and then I, I've done a lot of religious artwork. You may have seen this one before. It's probably one of the most, um, most popular pictures of the nativity that have been done. Painted that after I got back from Israel. Here's the Last Supper. But I've done a lot of different images, and the ones I'm the, I'm the most well known for today are my political paintings. I've done quite a few documenting the total travesty of, of Barack Obama's term in office. But today, I'm doing a lot of pictures of Trump that. Uh, I think are relevant to what's going on in the country and I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you a few of the sketches and some of the finished pictures and talk about it for a little bit. So I dug some sketches out of my files and just kind of randomly and here's one I did of Reagan uh, at his desk in the Oval Office. Uh, it's called uh, Ronald Reagan Just Do It. That was kind of a fun painting to do. I wanted to show the resolve and Reagan's uh, eyes and what he was trying to do. Uh, one of my favorite presidents, Ronald Reagan, and uh, he's got a love note he wrote to his wife on the desk ne next to him, and his scriptures are opened up, and more of a personal uh, tribute to the man. Here's the sketch I did for You Are Not Forgotten. I have the original hanging in my studio. And the idea was to do a sequel to the painting, The Forgotten Man. So you have the forgotten man planting uh, a sapling of a tree to represent our future. And, you know, the American people are not forgotten. And you see all these different kinds of Americans behind Trump. And, of course, Trump has the snake under his foot, which has some interesting meaning. This was the sketch I did of Andrew Breitbart, you know, a tribute to him. Um, what's he doing? What's he holding there? He's actually holding a pistol target. Um, it's called Andrew Breitbart, No Fear. Uh, you know, I'm, I've just really admired the man. It's, it's really sad that he's not with us anymore, but uh, whew, that was a great one to do. This painting is called Teach a Man to Fish, and you have Trump sitting on a bench next to a, you know, kind of a young man, and he's showing him, you know, that, hey, you know, you have, I can give you the bait, and it's up to you whether you go out and catch the fish. And uh, kind of a tribute to what he's doing to try to help education in America. I thought that was an interesting idea. Okay, here's the sketch I did for Expose the Truth. We all know the, the, the terrible travesty of the uh, investigation into Trump and the Russian collusion, which turned out to be completely false. And uh, Robert Mueller was the one leading that. And I don't know if he really was leading it. It almost seemed like he was uh, the puppet that somebody else was controlling because he didn't seem to know what was going on. This is the sketch I did that for Make America Safe. The idea was to have Trump standing at a gate. And the gate represented the, the out-of-date, cheap, uh, you know, little white picket fence that basically isn't keeping nobody out. And you can see that... Uh, you know, it's time to build a wall. This was the concept sketch for Democrats playing poker. Wow, that was a fun one. I've got all the different uh, presidential nominees all together, cheating and stealing. And, and it's kind of based on that famous painting, Dogs Playing Poker. I got tired of, of my critics always saying, hey, that looks just like a painting of dogs playing poker. Ha ha. So, hey, let's use that. And uh, they're all sitting there and it's just, <laughs> it was just fun. This was the sketch for my painting, The Masterpiece. The idea of having Trump sitting at a large easel. And he's been working on a painting and he's about to reveal it. Uh, you know, my thought was, hey, it's 2020 coming and 
You know, what's the what's his second term in office going to bring? You know, what is Trump thinking? Um, I thought it was an interesting idea for a painting. And here is the original sketch for the uh, concept of crossing the swamp. Probably one of my most famous paintings to date, based on that uh, famous painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware. Uh, and I have Trump on the boat in the swamp and all the different people with him, and they're all dressed in camo. And it was, a be it was just a fun painting to do. If you're interested in getting a copy of the new book, I have about 200 copies left. And I don't know when I'm going to print anymore. It's a beautiful book. It's, hand, it's a hand-stitched coffee table book, about 212 pages, and you can order it on my website. I'll put the link down below. Thanks.